It's a virus. Anyone can get it. I've had it. I've been immunised. Most adults would have had it at some stage in their life. I've probably still got it, I don't know. It's very common. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It's easy to protect yourself. HPV is human papilloma virus. HPV is a virus that's really common. It's spread really through contact and touching. And there's more than 100 different sorts. There's very many different sorts. The common sorts lead on to what we know as warts, like warts of your fingers, warts of your toes, warts anywhere in your body. They're usually just unsightly and a nuisance and sometimes uncomfortable. But the type of HPV we're interested in, and there's probably about 20 different types, um, can lead on to cancers, and particularly cervical cancer. It is a sexually transmitted virus that is implicated in up to 99% of cervical cancers, making cervical cancer one of the most preventable cancers if we can prevent HPV. Most HPVs don't go on to cause cervical cancer, but a few do. If you have HPV, there's no need to panic because that, it doesn't mean that you're going to have cervical cancer. 80% of people will pick up the HPV virus sometime in their life. Um, and the worst thing about it, they won't know that they have it. You don't know if you've got it. You know, it's not until you go and you have a smear that you find out that something's wrong. I first found out I had cervical cancer um, after the birth of my son. Well, the natural, natural thought that goes through your head with anything to do with cancer is that she's going to go. I was young and it, do it doesn't discriminate. It can happen to anyone um, and you just need to make sure that you're proactive in making sure that you get screened and you can do anything possible to, to um, prevent it. It doesn't have to um, go as far as it did with me. Not nowadays anyway. You can protect yourself with an HPV immunisation. It's about immunisation and cervical screening. It's easy to protect yourself. HPV immunisation, regular cervical screening, practising safer sex. My experience of HPV is when I was younger, probably early 20s, um, I had a smear test and it picked up some abnormal cell changes, um, which I now know are caused by HPV. Um, I didn't then, and so I had to have um, a small operation to remove those cells on my cervix. Um, and I've had clear smears since then, but um, I have definitely have had HPV. And actually when I was in my early 20s, I got genital warts, which I now know is um, related to some of the strains of the HPV virus. So as well as um, having abnormal cells in my cervix, I got genital warts. And there's a range of different sorts of HPV virus that affect your genital tracts and your reproductive organs. Um, the one that's most visible is what we'd call genital warts. And they look like just very large warts. They're sort of a bit cauliflower, unpleasant looking, little lumps, sometimes big masses of them all around your genital area. Those are unsightly and unpleasant, but they are not the sort that lead on to cancer. The, the sort that can potentially lead on to cancer are often not visible to the human eye. They, are, they, they live within the cells inside us, around our cervix, high up above our vagina. Um, they, they are carried by men and by women. We can carry them and not know we've got them. We can pass them on to each other and be unaware that we're carrying them. Morning, Tessa. Have a seat. Hi. Your first time here? Yeah. How can I help? Um, I'm going away on my big OE pretty mm -hmm. soon, and I've got all my other um, things sorted, taken care of, but yeah. um, I've been 
getting a pretty hard time from some of my friends about coming and getting a smear test. Okay. I've never done it before, so, okay, so I'm just kind of wondering, is it, is it really necessary? Okay. Well, smears are very important. Do you know why we do them at all? Not really. No. For women, once you become sexually active, and I'm assuming that would be the case with you, once that's the case, we know that you can become exposed to sexually transmitted virus the HPV virus, which can cause cancer of the cervix. It can cause abnormalities to develop on the cells of your cervix, which may progress to cancer. And having regular smears is how we prevent that from coming about. What is the cervix? <laughs> so the cervix is, um, is the neck of the womb. So the, uh, like it's like this big muscle. So it stays, when you're pregnant, it stays closed to keep the baby in. And then when it's time for the baby to be born, it opens. It's supposed to open to 10 centimetres so the baby can come out. So it's a really important part of your body. So it's really important to, you know, have smears and take care of it. Because you want to have babies, don't you? Mm -hmm. Laura can't wait to have babies, I keep saying. Not yet, not yet. Wait 10 years, but it's a yeah, really important part of your body. The concern for this particular virus is that it's common to many of us and it sits within our body and then over time our body manages to deal with it and get rid of it. Um, the real concern is that for a small percentage of people it stays around within the body and then slowly over time can cause changes within the cells that then have the potential to go on and cause cancer, particularly if it's not picked up or treated early. You know, there's lots of cancers that are really hard to prevent, but cervical cancer isn't one of them. It's really easy to prevent as long as you, you know, if you have the immunisation and you have regular cervical smears, you've got a really, really good chance of never getting it. So, you know, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you have the vaccination and why wouldn't you have regular cervical smears? It's a no-brainer to me. You got some eggs there, Jordan. But I don't want to hold them because they're gross. <laughs> no, I'll have them. <laughs>